All right. Am I Am I stinking audible? I always hate to, I always hate this part of the stream because nothing's happening and everything's very quiet and uh, I can't fucking hear myself. So it looks like there's one person watching. I hate to single you out. If there's something wrong with with what's going on, please for the love of gosh tell me. Am I is my am I too quiet? Can I can you freaking hear me? Um, can you see the clip studio window? Um, can you see the clip studio window? Oh, I see. All right. I'm going to I'm going to just guess that everything is fine. Uh, and God, there's no way to pop out chat. That's good. That's what I want. I'm gonna minimize that and then minimize OBS and just hope that everything is, is fine. And I'm gonna have to readjust my window size here because if I'm gonna do the pop-out chat, then that means that it's gonna have to be a little bit smaller over here. Can I make this always on top? That would be helpful. Um, no, I can't. No, I cannot. So that's just going to go right there. And then this is going to get bigger. Uh, nope, not that big. Okay. <clears throat> that's going to go like that. I'm going to stretch this over. So this will just be, you know what? It'll, it's just going to be a little bit awkward. And that is okay. In my opinion, just gonna get that as much over as I can. Yeah, that looks pretty good. At least, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, um, welcome to the Bedbug stream. Uh, all uh, <laughs> two people, I suppose. Uh, everything looks fine. So I'm gonna start stinking drawing, is what I'm gonna do. Um, once I plug in my goddamn stylus because I forgot to fucking uh, charge it. Hello. Is that working? What's going on? Oh, bother. Technical difficulties after technical. Di okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's working. For some reason, it just wasn't registering it. All right. Delightful is what I say. Um... I, the last time I did this, I had like a theme, which is what I'd like to do, um, I think, in general. Last time we made weird dogs, um, but yeah, last time we did weird dogs, and I like I liked doing themes. The issue is that I have a, I have a pretty small audience. Um, I'm not one of these, I'm not like this, this Pootie Pie guy. Have you heard of this character? Um, Pootie Pie is one of the biggest... Uh, Minecraft YouTubers on this website. I just found this out. He has red hair or white hair, I think, and a beard. He's from uh, some wacky country. What am I talking about? I don't have a big ass audience like PewDiePie, but I like that. I like having a little cozy, uh, a little cozy subscriber base, fan base. Can I call it? I don't like saying fan base. People who watch. Um. But even though I usually like to have suggestions from the audience of like what to start doing, um, it usually takes a little while for some people to get here. And it took a while last time for the theme to actually um, become apparent. Um, I just started doodling like myself. Um, on like a bed or something because I had bed bugs and that's why I, I did the stream. I was going to call it something else, but then I didn't um, because I don't have bed bugs anymore. Thank but thank but Jesus. Um, is that did the door open? Nope, that's the AC turning on. I'm, I'm home by myself. I usually have my roommates here, um, but I'm home by myself and every little sound that I hear, every little creak, every little thing that I hear makes me think that some person is breaking into my house and trying to steal everything. Um, I have an odd 
irrational phobia of people breaking in and stealing my shit. I guess it's not that irrational, because it, it does happen. But it's probably not a healthy thing to be concerned about. Um, or at least not productive. What the fuck is this, what am I doing with this guy? Um, so, yeah, if I hear the house settle at night, I go, huh! I go, huh! I flinch. Because I think, or I'm like, man, I think, I heard that, I heard a crack. I bet there's rats in the, in the, in the walls. I think I have rats in my ceiling as I'm going to sleep. And then I start thinking about bed bugs again. I tell you, I've had a number of dreams about bed bugs. Nightmares, really. About bed bugs coming back and about my whole house being infested again. And, um, really just shows how traumatic, um, the last last little incident was. So the lesson is don't bring in random furniture from outside uh, because it probably is infested with insects which will bite you uh, 70 times. It's not an exaggeration, I was bitten 70 times. Um, so yeah. I'm thinking about doing people. I thought people would be kind of fun. We did weird dogs last time. Um, uh, I want to do weird people because people can take, I mean, I mean, when you think about it, people can just take any shape at all. I can make this, I can make this kind of shape. And I can make that a person, you see? This shape, that could be a person. Even this shape. Even this abstract shape could become a person. Isn't that amazing? Let's, uh, in fact, let's do that. You know what? That is an excellent place to begin. Um, because, uh, speaking takes a lot more effort than drawing does. Or not necessarily, but it just, uh, it's difficult to do both at the same time. It's either like, what I'm saying makes more sense, or the drawing makes more sense. I gotta pick one. But, if I have, like, a batch of fucking shapes, then I can just, you know, go about filling them in with facial features and stuff. I also might, um, what I've been doing this week is I've been collecting, like, art that I really like and just, like, trying to copy it, um, trying to, uh, learn from people who are better than me, which has been really helpful, um, and I've really enjoyed it, uh, so I might do stuff like that. I don't know how, how interesting that would be. Um, but you know what? Who cares? People post, people post wacky shit on this site all the time and they manage to be entertained by it. So, uh, I'm just going to assume that there's one person probably in the world, um, maybe in, you know, a prison someplace or whatever, who could find this entertaining. And if that person by any stroke of luck happens to be watching that, then you know what? My day, uh, will be made even though I don't think I'd have any uh, way to know that that would happen. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little cartoon guy. I could just go over him and start doodling him, but that just, I mean, this is, I'm just warming up. I'm gonna actually fill in these and warm up, and then I will make a new layer. Hmm. other eye can be I'm not really I'm not really obeying the central like idea of this exercise I'm just kind of making my own shapes I should be doodling within these shapes but doesn't this look better I think it does uh, should I make a stinking note about this on Twitter should I no Nah. Just 
can go for a little bit. I am going to check my audio once more because I want to make sure that everything is is great. So give me a second here. All right, sounds good to me. I think. I think. Yep. Yep, everything is pretty much basically awesome and cool. And basically the live stream is I'm just feeling it, man. I'm basically I'm f I'm just thinking feeling it. All right. Everybody, what I've noticed with people who are doodling ears is everybody has a different way of doing ears, and almost none of them are anatomically correct. And I don't want to be like a snob about that or whatever, because I can't, I don't really have them down perfect either. But some people will, and in stylized art styles, it's kind of more understandable. It'll be like, bah, bah. It'll just be like an upside down Y. Some people will do them like, like uh, that. And then they'll have like a thing coming out. I always make mine a little bit more like, like I've started doing, just because I started uh, learning like anatomy first before I started learning like cartooning, um, I I kind of overemphasize anatomy, I think, um, at least right now, because it's just all that I know. And so like I, I want to fill in like every little anatomical detail um, that's possible. But the issue with that is that a lot of my drawings will get kind of cluttered and they'll get sort of messy um, because I'm just ch chucking on too many details. Because like, yeah, what I'm doing might be more anatomically correct, but sometimes this is like more appealing. Um, so maybe I should put a little thingy up top, like a little like, what am I drawing? Like, like titles so people get are interested because this is just me rambling. I don't know if this is entertaining, but there's that self-doubt creeping in. Who cares if it's entertaining or not? I mean, I care, but who cares that I care? I guess I do. What was I saying? Uh, Let's let's delete these chuckle fucks and let's do a billion little shapes in the worst marker we can find. Not really, but I, I want to know what the worst one is. It's pretty cool. Some blood stains. The blood stain stream. I only I only draw things in blood. Messages in blood. Yep, I love bleeding. I love bleeding and people getting hurt and just, uh, you know, violence and destruction and gore. I love all those things. I like stylized violence, but not, not, uh, not real life people getting hurt. Although actually, I suppose in a sick kind of way I do because I watch all those like near death compilations on uh, on the old tube tube, what the fuck is a tool? There we go. Watch all those near death compilations. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think they're interesting. I think it's because it's just like, it's real. Like it's it's just instantly engaging to like see something insane happening. You know what I mean? Like uh, I can only watch so many like actual movies and stuff. Um, before I'm just kind of like I'm I'm taken out of this because it's all, um, it's all just curated. I know that it's not real, but there's sort of a something really visceral about uh, about shit that's real. I shouldn't even be speaking really. I suppose I should just save all this crap for when people are actually watching. Um, I mean, I guess technically one person's watching so thank you um but um 
But I should probably save all my speaking energy until like some people show up and just focus on doodling something. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do. But then on the other hand, if I'm not speaking and I'm not saying anything engaging, then maybe the people that do show up will not be interested because they'll they'll see me being all quiet and they'll be like, man, nothing's going on here. Oh, but if they had just stayed, they would have known. Oh, but if they had just stayed, they would have known. Uh, some of these shapes might be too abstract for people. I'm kind of doing the same sort of thing. I'm just... These might be impossible to, to turn into people. They're just kind of squiggles, and they're all the exact same size. Oh boy. Cripes. Okay, let's try to make some that are... Just a little bit more varied. A little bit more going on. That's just an H. That's just the letter H. And maybe that me, uh, these can be, um, these don't have to just be faces. These can be people wearing clothes and stuff. You know, they can be all kinds of of different things. Who knows what these who knows what these shapes will be? Who fucking knows? I don't know, and I'm making them. That's probably enough. I can do more later. That's that's enough to begin. So that's going to go on this layer. I am loving Clip Studio, by the way. I'm switching over from Photoshop to Clip Studio because my little Adobe, um, excuse me, my Adobe uh, subscription is ending. And it hasn't ended yet, but it's going to. And when it does, I do not want to pay another $100 a year for a buggy program that is really goddamn slow. Uh, and I do like Photoshop. I really like it. I wish that I could go back to the 2015 pirated version that I used to have. Um, but being uh, the impulsive man that I am, I, uh, I installed the new Adobe Creative Cloud and it, it said, oh, we've noticed that this, this old version of Photoshop needs to be updated. Would you like to update it? And I was like, oh, sure, abso absolutely, Adobe. Adobe, absolutely. And then what they did is they, you see, they, they took it from me. They took my old subscription. They took the file that I so lovingly pirated, or that some somebody a friend of mine pirated, and they took it from me. So then I had to just use the new version. And I'm too afraid to torrent anything on my computer because I'm afraid of getting viruses, um, even though it's probably not likely. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh, there's the chat. Hello. Um, I don't know if I missed that or if that all just started happening. Yeah. So anybody that's here, I'm just, uh, filling in these stinking shapes with people. This one looks like a skull. This one looks like, uh, Grim from Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That looks like a skull, but that's kind of generic, I guess. So I want to, I, I want to avoid that. But by avoid it, I mean I'm gonna just do exactly that because I can't fucking think of anything. Nope. You know what? It's gonna, it's gonna have to be different. This is gonna. I just got an idea. I just got an idea. Idea coming in. Just got an idea. Uh, this is gonna be a little dude i just saw it i just had a vision uh the prophets the red string people of fate have given me an idea 
I have seen it. Um, what are those people called? The Fates. Oh, those old, those baddie old bitches with the red string. Um, one of one of these days they're gonna run out of that string, and then time will be over. What the hell are we gonna do then? When there's no more uh, red string of fate left. What is this? What is he fucking wearing? What is this? Make it the dude from Foster's. That's what I'm going for. I don't exactly want to make it Mac. Um, but he does have a square head like Mac. And he looks kind of like that dude from Motor City. The blonde haired guy who screams. Um, I think he'll be... Um, <laughs> he looks sort of like a an ogre-ish kind of thing. I don't think he's a boy. I think he's... No, he, he look, he's going to have to be a boy. He's just going to be a... a uh, he's going to be a little monster boy, I guess. And I'm trying to not say the word boy because that's become like a meme at this point. We're like, oh, look at this boy. Look at this freaking man. Look at this dude, and it's just like, man, I, I, I want to think. I want to start using different words. It's the same as come. People say the word come a lot, and I want to find. I want to find a different word that's funny other than come. Ooze is pretty funny. I like ooze. I've been saying scum in place of it. I think that's pretty good. Um, but uh, it hasn't caught on. Probably because I haven't told anybody about it. It's just something that exists entirely in my head. Um. I'm going to give him Butch Hartman hands, or wander over yonder. No, that's Butch Hartman hands. And that's going to get over into that. Hmm. Maybe we'll make him nervous. Maybe this is a nervous kind of thing. Yeah, there we go. And the other arm can be... an ugly looking thing <laughs> uh, but he's wearing a shirt I gave him a collar so he's gonna have to he's gonna have to have something there I guess he doesn't have to be an ogre he could just be an ugly <laughs> ugly human I am supposed to be drawing humans after all he's gonna be wearing some big fucking shoes Big, meaty kicks. That looks fine. That looks like, uh... That looks like about the amount of effort that I'm willing to put in. Big fucking shoes. And I would, I would take the time to draw, like, some sick-ass J's. Um, but then I'd be out here all night. It's amazing to me that they keep coming up with ideas for shoes. And some of them look real ugly. Um, but they still look like shoes. And I think that that's pretty neat. It's just kind of about, like, how do you take the shape of the shoe and then just put more, more shit on top of it? Um, how many different ways can we put shit on top of the foot? Because they don't need to be that complicated. It's all just for style. Which I don't have anything against. I like style. Where am I going wrong here? I think his pants are too bad. I think the baggy pants need to be re redone. This needs to be straight and then a little pooch coming out there. Untied laces. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Maybe that's why he's so upset. Because he doesn't know how to tie his stinking shoelaces. I'd be sad if you were never taught to tie your laces. I think that's kind of unacceptable. Not being taught. That's like the bare minimum you have to do as a parent. I mean, a pair of, apart from like feeding your kid or whatever. I once knew somebody in high school who didn't know how to how to read the time. 
who didn't understand how to like read regular clocks. Like she could read digital clocks. Like uh, if it would say 12.30, she's like, all right, I could read that. But she couldn't read like a regular like wall clock for some reason. Um, and I, I thought that was hilarious and pathetic and kind of sad. Um, but you know what? That's kind of mean, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's it's just what I thought. So, you can have mean thoughts, and they're not mean, right? They're just thought. They're just thoughts. They're just the things that come out of your head. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I don't think I, I don't think I quite uh, understand how shoes work yet. Because this is just a fucking horrible mess. Uh, do I give up? Do I keep trying? Um, yeah. So... thinking giving up uh yeah i need to erase this little bit of the laces here because that's going to conflict with something else i'm also going to switch to a uh a less aliased brush is that or maybe more aliased it's too pixelated and my canvas is too uh is too small there we go something like that because while i like the alias brush on something of this resolution it's probably just not quite um, big enough. In fact, uh, edit, change canvas size. Yeah, this is going to have to be, um, how do I make this? 3,000 by 3,000? Yeah, that's probably about right. And then I make all this stuff bigger. Oops, wrong layer. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Center lets me scale both layers. Sweet. Alrighty. Now the first guy is going to be super fucked up looking. Uh, yeah, those are just going to be the shapes for now. Alright. Back to it. Back to it. All right, now what does this thing look like? It looks kind of like, I'm always tempted to do these little like, faces like that. It comes down and something like that. But that's just too easy. That's my immediate thought. Um, looks like a maggot. This kind of looks like, it kind of looks like it could be a dog with one pointy ear and one, um, Uh, yeah, but dogs aren't people. At least not yet. So maybe... No, wait. No, I got it. 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 He's going to be... A man with a strange pointy ear. It's gonna be really, really screwed up. That does not look like an ear, but it's the shape that I, I chose. So it's just gonna have to be fine, isn't it? You're just gonna have to fucking deal with it, I think. Um, I think you're just gonna have to get over yourself. I think you're gonna have to um, shut the fuck up while I do my goddamn business. Oh wait, that wasn't the idea that I had. That wasn't the idea at all. I've messed up my own idea. It's okay. Yeah, I was gonna do it. I should probably turn my stabilization on too. 
It's a dude with a big ass jaw. He looks like he looks like Mr. Incredible. No, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Um. So I'm gonna have to give him. Where's my stabilization? There it is. Yes, there we go. There we go. Now it feels like I'm know what I'm doing. A lot of times I turn stabilization off. Um because I'm like, oh, I'm a hack if I use stabilization, but nobody fucking cares. Um and it looks better if you do too. If it was on paper or something, like I I don't know. I usually have pretty controlled strokes on paper, but with the the computer it's uh it's uh the computer makes things difficult, you see. Um, that is too much stabilization. It's slowing it down. That's why I switch to no stabilization sometimes, just because it slows all my marks down. I want to give him his little nose, but... <laughs> uh. There's no really... <laughs> that looks like a nose. It's like a shriveled up... Uh... shriveled up like gyosa or something not a gyosa i've been getting into a bad habit of saying like oh that looks just like x but like um it doesn't actually look like the thing that i say it does um so i just sound like a maniac uh nobody wants to sound like a maniac i'm literally crazy i'm literally insane don't mess with me, okay? Don't mess with me if you know what's good for you, because I will, I will basically destroy your entire village and crush everything that you care about if you make fun of me for uh, whatever I'm talking about right now. <laughs> I don't know what he's so concerned about. This little th dude that I'm drawing. But he does not look like he's very confident. He looks like maybe he looks like maybe he doesn't know how he feels. Because he's got this nervous grin. He's got that nervous grin down here, but his eyes. His eyes tell a different story. The eyes are the window to the soul. And this, these windows got a Windex, you know what I'm saying? Um, no, you don't because it didn't make any sense. What I'm trying to say is this dude is distraught. Maybe you guys can figure out what the hell is wrong with him. Leave a comment in chat if you, uh, for what you think this guy's going through. What, what, divorce question mark with a big red arrow pointing to something insignificant on screen? Maybe not divorce. Divorce is too obvious. Like, maybe he's, he's, like, he's caught his, his wife doing something, uh, ran out of cheese. That's good. That's good. Um, this is a cheese-loving man who has just discovered that, um, his cheese has been consumed maybe by himself like he's shocked yeah that's it yeah he's shocked i can't believe that i've gone through that much cheese in 24 hours i consumed three i consumed no less than three blocks of gouda one pound of swiss and three whole boxes of yellow american if you can believe that three entire boxes 
So he's like nervous laughing. He's like, huh, wow, I really, I really love my cheese. But like on the inside, he's like, I really, I think I have a problem. I think I might have to go to a therapist or something for this. Um, his chin. Uh, yeah, this is probably, I don't think I'll be able to make this much, much gooder unless I added some like basic shading, which uh, maybe I'll do. Uh, if I scale this thing, there we go. Some real basic gray shading with the old lasso tool. And here's my uh, contribution to the oddly satisfying videos on YouTube. At least I think it's satisfying to do this kind of shit. Anything that requires less effort than the step uh, before it is usually satisfying. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. It really does kind of look like a mutant Mr. Incredible. The nose is kind of fucked up, but... And he's lactose intolerant. Yeah, well, he could be lactose intolerant. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's like, uh... He's gotten off some sort of a... Some sort of a illegal substance fueled bonanza do you know what i mean when i say bonanza um and he he's woken up from this frenzy uh this bender to realize that he's eaten all of his cheese at this house that he's at and so he realizes oh god what a wonderful night but but I've, I'm gonna be feeling this in a few hours. He's like, oh my God, I'm not feeling pain right now, but I know that I'm going to. In about, in T minus uh, two hours when it hits my, my digestive tract. Okay, I'm gonna fix these eyebrows and then move on. Um, by fix, I mean fill them with black. Ah, sure, whatever. Okay, next guy. Now, this guy makes me think of that little twerp from Steven Universe back in the day when I watched that show. Um, the little fry character. Shade his eyes. Uh, I don't want to, but I probably should, huh? I'll make that slightly lighter. And then go back to... I was on the wrong layer. Actually, thank you for letting me know, because I would have started the other drawing on the wrong, on the wrong goddamn layer. And that would have been a travesty. That would have been a Travis Scott, dude. You know Travis Scott? You listen to Travis Scott, dude? That would have been a... Oh, that's a shitty joke. Uh, yeah, that's good. And maybe I'll just... Real low effort, just right there. Yeah, that's fine. It'll do. It'll do. That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, this guy makes me think of that little little dickhead from Steven Universe. Little bitch. Or. like drawing like the mismatched eyes you know jimmy neutron's dad uh has like one eye is bigger than the other i noticed that when i was re-watching the movie the other day which i i was doing i mean i remembered watch i remembered from the movie just a spontaneous i didn't watch it the other day the movies for babies i would never watch um i would never watch a movie for babies for children Hmm. 
Now this guy is genuinely distraught. Like his emotions are a little bit more, a little bit more understandable, or at least more readable. He is melting. That's how sad he is. He's doing a little. His little. His little lip is quivering with fright. I should change his eyebrows. Sad eyes look like. That's the same shape as that guy's. Gonna have to do some high intensity erasing here. Maybe this isn't hair. Maybe this is something else. Maybe this is uh, something like, I don't know, fingers. Yeah, I think that that's what they're going to be. That's a whole other angle to this whole evening. It could just be like mutant looking people. Or uh, people who have horrible deformities like that show the oblongs. Which, isn't Will Ferrell in that fucking show? I've only seen it like once or twice on... Uh, Adult Swim really late at night. It was really late at night. It was probably like 2 a.m. Yeah, I was hanging up really late because it was really cool. Uh, and the oblongs came on and I said, what in the world? This is so wacky. I don't even know what to do. And then I forgot everything about it. And, uh, yeah, this is his ear, I think. Question mark. That's how to remember it's not an S. Kind of comes out like that. And then there is. Oh, bother. What have I done? Oh, bother. That's kind of an ear. I guess I understand why people, everybody does ears differently, because they kind of, oh, they're so hard, they're so hard, oh, they're so hard. No, it's not hard if you just practice it, gosh dang it, but evidently I'm out of practice. Um, I am, I will admit it, I'm out of practice. Uh, hmm. It's on, but the, I shut the vent because there was noise coming from the, uh, noise coming from, from the vent, and my mic was picking it up. I didn't want to, I thought that that would be bothersome on stream. I thought it would be irritating for all you wonderful viewers. Um... Good, the black for the bottom of the eye. 
it emphasizes weight. If these lines are thicker, then they're going to feel weightier than the other ones, which means they're going to be pulled down. Line width is very important. That's what I'm learning by copying other people's art and studying it. Okay, yeah, fingers. The fingers, I like that idea. Fingers is, is a good one. Although, this should be a little stair step, I think. We should go up here. Yeah, there we go. Finger man. Finger man, finger man, tell me a tale. Finger man, finger man. Live a hay bales. Live it, love hay bales. That stinks, I'm sorry. Can't just be saying random, random crap all the time and hope that it's entertaining. But unfortunately, that's all I know how to do. Um, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining about it, huh? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Man, he's got weird fucking. Man, I keep getting interrupted from your stream. What are you getting interrupted by, huh? You got working at your goddamn job? What could be so important that it distracts you from this magnificent stream, I wonder? Because, you know, I just can't, I can't think of anything. Um, no, I, I totally get it. It's probably good that you get distracted because uh, I'm just creating monstrosities. Horrible, horrible monstrosities. That's not even what the hell happens in fingers. The fingers are like different. Fingers look like, upon inspection, not these wriggly lines, it's that they go, they go kind of like that. Yeah, they look like uh, <laughs> uh, lips. <laughs> I don't like that, but that is what they look like. And there's no, I guess there's lines up there, but they make these little like circular looking things. Yeah, that looks better. And those little lines. The big, huge one. Ba, 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 ba. Connor the Pengu, how was my day? My day was freaking fine. Thank you for asking. I, I just, I wasted the entire day. Um, doing nothing. I sat on my couch and I watched YouTube videos all day because I did too many push-ups and now my arms are sore uh, and I, they're too sore to bend my my wrist and so I was like, oh, I can't draw today because because my arms hurt. And so I wasted an entire day and then I was like, I'm gonna stream uh, because lo and behold, I wasn't too sore to draw. I was just making excuses. The lesson is don't make excuses. Uh, unless you're in excruciating pain and you legitimately have no uh, no other, uh, nothing else to do. I should have eaten before I started this whole stream. Am I going to get through all these in one night? I'm going to have to pick up the gosh darn pace uh, if I want to finish. I might not finish all these. How long have I been going for? Um, I've been going for... 50 minutes, good gravy. Um, yeah, I'll probably go for a little bit more. What I should do, maybe I'll do this next time, is um, have like an actual piece that I'm working on, like inking or something, and then I could just come back to that. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit here. Um, but <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, he's got a big nose. He looks like the fucking the dude from Ratatouille. Ratatouille. What am I drawing? I'm going over all these random shapes and making them into people. Um, but I don't know if you could call this a person, this thing I've created. Uh, just a thing, people, people shaped things, I guess. Um, uh, that looks like Mike from Motor City. It does look like Mike. Very old, Mike. <gasps> yeah. So, so engrossed in creating this thing. So engrossed. I have issues with hair. I've been that's that's on my list. Is uh is hair, hair and faces. I spend so much time um, on like anatomy and everything, which is important. And anybody that tells you it's not important is. A dummy, unless they want to go into like architecture, like vehicle design, in which case um, they're not. Um, but <laughs> uh, I don't like that upper lip, <laughs> but it's so disgusting that I might just keep it. No, it's too disgusting. All right, that's that's guy number four, and then time four. <laughs> okay, I got a I got a good idea. This guy's so upset about. Or is he upset? I don't know what emotion this is. Alarm? <laughs> I do know that he's foaming at the mouth, though. I think I did somebody else foaming at the mouth last time. I drew like a, a dog that was had had ra rabbits. Um, and their rabies. The rabies is, is always hilarious. There's nothing funnier than the slow, agonizing process of losing your mind while being supervised by doctors. A very surprised chicken. He does kind of look like a chicky, doesn't he? A chick chick? Um, his beak. Um, something like that. Oh gosh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that looks like a beak. <laughs> Sorry, said I scare you with that loud sound. Uh, this chicken has no head. It's a rabid chicken with no head. Sure. All right. Um, now this guy. Oh, I should have done that. He 
does kind of look like a snowman. That's what I'm going for. He looks kind of like... Um, what does it look like? A dude wearing a parka is my idea. A really thick-ass parka. Just Kenny, I guess. Kenny from South Park, in case you didn't know. Uh, yeah, he's a cautious kid from from Michigan, I think. He loves playing in the snow, but he got attacked by a dog last summer, so he's he wears the reason that this it's not a big jacket. He's wearing a bulletproof vest underneath this thing. Um, and that's why that's why it's so thick. And this one isn't really very funny looking. He's just not very funny. Just just a dude and his. Parka. Thick. Oh, I forgot about his big ass. Uh, <laughs> what am I going to do here? A big old, big ass triangle. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to finish all these tonight. I've been going for about an hour. Um, but I'm going to try and finish this dude up um, somehow. Maybe he's just on a pile of snow and he's ripped through his jacket. He's like some sort of a. A snow mutant of some kind. A snow beast. <laughs> yeah, a slug body made of snow. The snow beast. That's my kid's book I'm gonna write. Brian the little ugly fucking snow beast. One day Brian discovered that he was made of snow and ugly. And his middle name is Beast. It sucks. The worst thing about doing streams is that it's all, it is stream of consciousness. So I don't know if what I'm saying makes any sense, and I'm sure that it doesn't. If I was having an actual conversation with somebody, or if I was just sitting and talking, I might have more, uh, more, uh, intelligent things to say, but it's just kind of so I sound like a a proper goober, I think. Who gives a goddamn So Well looks like he's in a big pile of shit. A shit mon. He looks like Garbodor or Trubbish or something. Um, yeah, that's. All right. Well, perhaps not the most uh, successful of streams, or maybe not. I don't know. This is. There's some successes in here. I like this. This little guy. I like this pile of crap. Um, I think I just gotta. I should start out doing like what the hell, or I should come up with a, an idea. Uh, a better idea from the beginning. But this is fun. I do enjoy doing it. Um, thanks to everybody who showed up um, and stuck around to listen to me ramble about stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably do this again sooner, maybe in the next like, couple days or something before I head out of town. But, uh, yeah, 
thanks everybody and I'll uh, catch ya catch ya later goodbye